Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people. Today we have the story of a man who finds out his girlfriend has been cheating on him with her other boyfriend. Let's see how it goes. Story 1. I-35 male have been seeing someone 34 female for about 3 years now. We're both doctors. I'm currently a consultant in internal medicine while my girlfriend is a general surgeon. We met while we were still in med school as we shared a few classes. We weren't exactly friends, but we got along well enough because we had a few mutual friends and belonged to the same study group. I had a crush on her since then but didn't pursue it, as we were both busy and did not have any time to date. I was also not sure she would say yes. Now, we both work in the same hospital and I finally mustered up the courage to ask her out three years ago. We had a good relationship and tried to make it work as much as we could, despite our busy schedules. We barely had any time to meet, but whenever we were off or weren't on duty, we would try to spend time together going on dates, camping, etc. It wasn't really easy, but since we were in the same field, we understood each other enough and loved each other so much. We were doing very fine. Sometimes our job requires us to travel for conferences and symposiums. When that happens, we don't see each other for days, sometimes even weeks, and those times are usually the hardest. We were already busy as it was. My girlfriend had been complaining about being too busy and stressed out and was contemplating going on sabbatical. Finally, she made her decision and decided to take a break for one year. She used that time to travel and spend her time doing what she loved, sending me pictures and videos and telling me all about her adventures. She also tried her best to visit me whenever I was less busy to hang out. She even suggested I take one too, but I told her I still wanted to work some more. One time, she traveled again as part of her many adventures. Coincidentally, I had a symposium in the same state, so I decided to keep it secret and visit her at her hotel to surprise her. I attended my lecture in the morning, and afterwards, I headed to her hotel room. On getting there, I discovered she was not around and decided to wait in the hotel lobby in case she was back from what I guessed to be sightseeing. When it started getting late, I decided to leave and return the next day. The next afternoon, I got ready and went over to her hotel again. But on getting there, she was not in. I couldn't tell if she hadn't returned since last night or just went out again but I decided to just call her, ruining the surprise, because I had to catch a flight later at night. I really wanted to see her before leaving because I had no idea when we would see each other again. I called, but she wasn't picking up her phone. After a few more tries, I gave up and decided to just leave. I was waiting for the elevator, texting her to let her know that I was here with the intention of surprising her, but didn't get to see her and would be leaving in the evening when the elevator arrived. As I opened, I was welcomed by the sight of her leaning against another dude and wrapped around him. They both seemed drunk and looked as if they had been out all night, partying and messing around. She looked very surprised to see me. She started asking why I was here, stuttering and trying to get off the dude. I could tell she was disoriented and still out of it. The dude also seemed confused, asking who I was and why she was reacting like she was caught doing something wrong. I introduced myself to him and told him I was her boyfriend. Apparently they had been seeing each other for a few months since she went on sabbatical and were in this city for a couple's getaway trip. He had no idea she was cheating on me with him. He got so angry and told her they were over, then apologized to me and walked out. I was also livid. I couldn't believe I came to surprise my girlfriend in the hotel room she was staying in with her lover. I immediately broke up with her and turned to leave. She tried to follow me, apologizing and explaining that he was just a fling. Because I was busy and I had no interest in hearing any of her BS. She was still yelling at me after I exited the hotel, screaming that she just wanted to live a little and have some fun while she was still young. She was causing such a ruckus that the hotel security had to drag her away. It was very embarrassing, but I didn't care. I hailed a cab and went back to my hotel. 
packed up and caught my flight back home. On getting back home, I packed up all her stuff that was at my place. We never made it official, but she practically lived with me since we started working at the hospital because my apartment was closer to work. I was really glad I never asked her to move in or this would have been more complicated. I really didn't want any reason to see her. I threw them all out and texted her to come get them and never come back. I was so upset and disappointed. Her betrayal hurt. Right now, she's still on sabbatical and hasn't returned to work yet. I've been holed up in my house, but I've got the support of my friends and colleagues. I have no idea where she is and if she ever plans to come back. I hope to never see her at the hospital again. I was planning to propose to her soon. OP, I'm sorry your relationship ended this way. I'm glad you found out before you got engaged to her though. For a busy person, I can't believe she has enough time to date two guys. Please know that this is on her and not you. You would think her being a doctor herself would make her understand and be okay with you being super busy, but she just proved that that's not the case. You're going to meet her again since you both work together. Be professional and treat her like just a coworker. If she tries to talk to you about other things, shut her out. Hopefully, you'll get to meet someone more suited for you soon. Take care, OP. Story 2. 7 years married, 5 year courtship, 12 years together. Wife had an emotional, physical affair, not yet sexual, but close according to her. She revealed the affair to me in July of last year. Their friendship phase was going on a few months before she got pregnant with my son. She kissed him twice during her pregnancy. After our son was born, she said he went away for a few months, stonewalling her only to start up again four months prior to when she told me what was up. She told him she loved him prior to telling me about the affair. During the initial disclosure of the affair, she did not tell me that she told him that. It came out a few months ago when I was prying information from her about the affair. I went to a lawyer, but I didn't finish the process. She got a lawyer as well. Right before I filed, she broke down and begged me not to leave, and I caved. Two months later, she's acting strange. I check her text logs and see the massive amount of texts which transpired over the last eight months. During the initial days after the revelation of the affair, I told her I needed no contact. She told me she couldn't leave as she was in a contract as a school teacher and would instead have to leave me. For months, I've been battling emotions, the standard up and down moment for months now. A few months into the process, I disclosed the affair to her two best friends over Facebook, and her mom and sister know now. I'm positive that stopped the physical contact between the two. Unfortunately, this process did not stop the texting. Last week, I checked my wife's phone records, only to see thousands of texts between them over the last couple months. I bring it up to her and she cries and tells me she knows she must go no contact, yet she has not blocked him. To make matters even more strange, she says she wants to have another child with me, and says she checks back into our marriage whenever we talk about our future. Someone please give me your thoughts on this. Options, opinions, or anything else would be appreciated. Did this happen to you? How did it work out? Update. I told her tonight I wanted a divorce. Now I need to stick with it. Messaged the dipshit to ask for his girlfriend's number lol. Shockingly, he didn't give it to me. I really don't feel like digging it up, but I probably should. Just to keep updates on this, she's been looking for apartments now for the last week. Really hasn't said much to me other than some small talk here and there. I'm hoping I can start healing when she's out. This whole situation has been so mentally draining and stressful. Easily the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. I'm sorry you're going through all this, OP. Your STBXW ended your marriage when she decided to get emotionally attached to another man. She ended it when she refused to go no contact with him to start the process of healing your marriage with you. And she ended it when she stopped trying to save your marriage, but instead she went deeper and deeper into her attraction for this man. She has checked out. You should too. There's really no point trying to save the marriage when the other party isn't making it a priority to. 
your child will be fine. It's better for him to have two functioning homes than for him to grow up in a broken home. I hope the divorce proceedings go well for you. Good luck, OP. Now for some comments. You have no marriage while this dead weight hangs on her, pulling her away from you. If she genuinely saw a future with you and was done with the affair, there would be no contact. Additionally, no one has thousands of texts and has not pushed towards some kind of physical affection, unless they're hundreds of miles apart. She's lying to you, and she's using you. The fact that you have to pry information out of her, and the fact that she seems to be having a hard time going no contact with him, doesn't bode well for the future. You need to present her with a choice. Tell her she needs to choose between continuing contact with him or her having kids that grow up in a divorce situation. Very clearly frame it in terms of being her choice, not your choice to leave her. No contact has to be a hard limit. From what you say about her checking back in, it sounds like she hasn't completely mentally checked out of your marriage, so there's hope. But first establish the hard no contacts limit, then off to counseling for you both. She's obviously feeling like something's missing, and that needs to be figured out. I tried to hang in there because my wife couldn't go no contact. But in doing so, I enabled her. She says that she never saw our marriage ending because of what she was doing. She wanted the marriage, but also wanted the attention. One of my mistakes, and I made many, was in not drawing a bright line and immediately leaving her as she declined to go no contact. We were in counseling, and I fault our counselor for not supporting that demand. I think now, had I left, she might have seen what she had to lose at a time, when it was still possible to repair the damage. By allowing it to continue as I tried to preserve the marriage, instead, I allowed it to become damaged beyond repair. We have kids, so that's why I hung in. Your situation sounds similar enough. My experience is that hanging in enables. If you say you will leave and then do it, shit gets serious, as it must. I wish you well.